All right, I'm about to go into the chiropractor. I'm really excited, also a little bit nervous because I've never been to a chiropractor. I'm gonna take you guys along. I'm very excited. Okay, let's go. So we're doing it for stress. Oh yeah, it will last you for showers and all that. How many do you normally put on? On four. And you're supposed to press on them? Yes, that's how you activate them. So don't be too aggressive when you press on them. Just lightly. Okay, cool. He said that I was extremely tight on my right side. He did my hamstrings, which I needed so bad because I've been working out so much. So I'm about to do thermography in about 30 minutes. I need to just chill and let my muscles relax after having a massage because he was pressing on them so much so it may like change how it looks. And then I'm gonna get an adjustment. So yeah, we're doing all the things today. Thermography is an alternative to radiation. So this is the healthy alternative for it. A lot of times we have kind of like these thoughts where it's like, oh, I feel a lump on my breast. I feel this, I feel that. Okay. So instead of putting ourselves and our body through radiation, we would rather do thermography, make sure that something is actually there and then transfer onto the more. Wow, okay. So this is the best and the healthiest alternative for you. So the way this process works is, are you looking for just breast thermography, full body? Probably full body, so I actually actually just got lumps removed like a couple months ago so I don't think there's any more lumps in there everything turned out good so we'll do a full body exam which will require you to be completely naked okay uh, so you're gonna remove absolutely everything she's like a little grandma right here <laughs> make a funny face Like honestly, I feel like I've met you before too. I just don't know where it is. And she was like at the makeup event, and then we were thinking about it, and I was like, oh my god, it was Smashbox like three years ago. We went to like Smashbox Studios. This is where it's gonna happen. So all my X-rays. Yeah, you have a reverse curve. Did you know that? Your curve's going the opposite way that it should. So if you look here, see how the curve's going this way? Yeah. You're supposed to be going the opposite way. Oh my gosh. So and that's why you have that hump in the upper back as well. I feel it, yeah. And no matter what you do, you can't take that hump away yeah. unless you get some that. You see how everything's going back here? Yeah. That's a big deal. We want the green line. This is where you should be. Wow, that's okay, Yeah, different. you've yeah. lost. 111.4% of your net curve. Oh so my we gosh. have a lot to work on. Yeah. And this is not something that corrects overnight. I'm not gonna go too hard okay. because you have that migraine and because history of, right? Yeah. And you have that reverse curve. There's a really good chance that if I go too hard that you'll get a migraine. So it's little bits at a time we have to work on your spine. But it's a series of adjustments, especially for someone like you. We deal a lot with migraines. Okay. And what we're good at is structure correction. So drop here. Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> okay, so little bits in the neck, nothing okay. major, okay? I want you to have a really good night's sleep tonight, okay. so that's what my goal is going to be. Okay. okay. Right here. Oof, wow. Okay. <laughs> good. Right here. Wiggle those toes. But that balanced you, so wow. nervous system's gonna calm, yeah. okay? You might be really tired in the middle of the day. So you're gonna roll onto your side, okay. and you're gonna use this hand to help you push okay. up, and so you're like, gonna swing your legs go. down onto the floor. Perfect. Okay, so she told me I had to come back in and get more adjustments. She didn't want to do too much today. So I am going to come in on Monday. I'm very excited. That felt so good. I knew it was going to feel good, but dang, there were so many cracks. You heard those cracks, <laughs> I right? Did, I did. She was, it got real crunchy. It got crunchy. Wow. That's insane. Also, it only took like two minutes tops. Yeah. That's like so wild. She said it would help so much with my migraines. <laughs> Do y'all see this posture noodle? 
I need one of these at home. Look at the smile. Can you get it? <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all i just got in my car and it's toasty oh my god i'm like not over how that felt it was so amazing and um my friend erica got to come she's also my coach we love her wow mind blown also i got a parking ticket y'all i figured i would i really was hoping i was gonna get lucky and not getting a parking ticket but here we are, another parking ticket. LA1 John Marie Zero. So the chiropractor told me that I may have a migraine. And I low-key feel like a little bit of a migraine right now, but I know that could have been left over. I had an insane migraine yesterday, and like if you guys have been following me for a little while, you know that I've been having migraines since I was like 11 years old. So I had a really bad migraine yesterday. I was telling her about it, and I was like, I know like there's some chiropractic things that help with migraines. So yeah, she told me to come back in on Monday. We're gonna hopefully get that figured out. She said that you hold a lot of tension and me specifically i hold a lot in my jaw and like my neck and all of that we shall see hopefully i don't have a migraine she said that i was going to be like extremely exhausted later today which is totally normal i got bit by so many mosquitoes last night like it's unreal how mosquitoes just love me so much my whole ankle is completely swollen it's not a good time okay literally it's like from here and then my whole ankle and then I have another one on this leg like so bad so I'm gonna go home and take a Zyrtec happy Monday so today we're going to the chiropractor so let's go good morning but we're gonna go ahead and do dip traction so we're gonna do five squats holding it for five seconds and then on the fifth squat you're gonna go ahead and hold for 20 seconds when we measure this we're gonna go ahead and bring it down since i'm a bit more shorter and we want to do we want to make sure this top noodle we're gonna measure it at our chin level when we open it we're gonna go ahead and open it this macaroni looking noodle we're gonna place it behind our neck and we're gonna place this one underneath our chin we're gonna slightly squat and we're gonna hold that for five seconds bring the clip up and measure it at your chin level ahead and open that up for me perfect and that noodle is gonna go underneath your chin you're gonna go ahead and open up your stand and slightly squat you're holding that for five seconds okay sweaty after that it was like a vibration plate we're getting warmed up it's your hips you're gonna go ahead and go side to side for 30 seconds perfect and making sure that at all times that you're doing the wobble chair your feet are flat on the ground okay wobble our hips clockwise and we're gonna do that for another 30 seconds the next one that we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and wobble our hips counterclockwise Drop your head back, perfect. tenderness as I go on one side more than the other? Um, a little bit more on my right. Okay, got it. All right, so let your body just let go here. You're contracting a little bit here. So yes, much better. That's what we need. Good. All right, so the table pieces are going to move. I'm going to loosen and warming up the joints before we set it into an adjustment. So here it's going to lift up. And then when I press on you, it's going to drop down like that, okay? Here we go. Take a deep breath in. When you exhale out, I'm gonna put pressure. You may feel a release. Good, good. So I'm gonna press my leg on top of your leg okay. and we're going to work on the hips. Okay. You may hear release, it's just gas cavitating from the joint with the movement, okay? So nice and relaxed too here. Let it drop. Very good. Nice. Right? 
Wow. This here is your lower back bones here. We're gonna get some movement here. Beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna go into your upper back. You're gonna roll towards me. My hand's gonna go under. You're gonna feel a release. Let it drop. Okay. There it goes. Good. So good. <laughs> Just checking the neck first, checking the joints here. Is that tender right there? Yeah, it is. All right, so we're gonna start low here. You're gonna take your neck over. You're gonna hear that release, that gas cavity, so that nice audible as the bone moves. Very good, and we're right here. Nice, drop it, relax the muscle. Very nice. nice. That's so good. All right, nice and balanced. Your power is on. Congratulations, you got your first adjustment. That's exciting. You're starting this whole journey for yourself. So the magnesium is meant to be taken at night for a better sleep, easier recall, less brain fog, that sort of thing. So to help you preserve those brain pathways, the brain does the most while you're sleeping at night. So if you're having a good sleep, you're setting yourself up for success. All right, y'all. I just got done with like my first official chiropractor. I just got in my car. I am so glad that I didn't get a parking ticket this time. Oh my gosh. I feel like I need to put more money in the meter next time. I didn't realize that you had to do like pre and post exercises beforehand. It's like a whole process. So I'm going to be coming three times a week, which honestly I kind of was like, whoa, that's a lot now. But uh, apparently my neck, the way it's curved, needs some help and hopefully it'll help with my migraines. Honestly, I have tried everything for my migraines. So if this helps, Oh my gosh, I will absolutely recommend it to everyone who has migraines because I know we're all in the same boat of trying to figure out what works for us with migraines. My prescription migraine medicine helps sometimes, but they're reoccurring. They put this CBD rub on my shoulders after. It's like cooling and tingling. I love it so much. So she said that getting an adjustment, especially for the first time, if I'm sore or really tired, hopefully I don't get a migraine, <laughs> but um, that that's totally normal and to just relax and it'll go away in a couple days. I'm just assuming that the more I go, the less soreness and everything that I'll have because I'll be starting to get more aligned. I had no idea that I was like not aligned at all. Oh, it's so hot in here, hold on. It is so hot in my car. <sighs> now that I've gotten that done, even for the two times that I did, I feel like less pressure on my neck and my back. I'm like, dang, why haven't I tried this before? I honestly was like a little bit sus on going to a chiropractor for quite a while because there are stories of if they don't do it right, it could really mess you up. I trust these people. I don't think that they're gonna like mess me up in any way, but I definitely know there are stories where if someone doesn't do it right, like it, it's really bad for you. So I think that's why I've just like not been inclined to go to a chiropractor in the past, but I obviously like crack my own back and like all of that, but it's nowhere near the level of going to a chiropractor. Cracking your own back is just like kindergarten level compared to what the chiropractor does. I'll keep you guys updated. This was just my first time coming to do like the full chiropractor experience with the warm-ups and all that stuff. So we're gonna do x-rays again after 36 times. So that's about three months, I think. I can't wait to see the difference. I'm blown away already. Like I feel so good right now. Thank you guys for coming along on my chiropractor experience. I hope you guys have the best day. And if you've ever tried a chiropractor or you wanna try a chiropractor and you have questions for me, let me know in the comments below. I would be happy to ask them for you. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.